you love cookies and cream, you're gonna love this one. You're gonna order a vanilla bean cream frappuccino made with heavy cream and add java chips. I also added cookie crumbles on top for the vibe. And then you're also gonna order the new cookies and cream cake pop. Comment if you try it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a vanilla latte. This works for at home too. The grande is 16 ounces, and then we're gonna do four pumps of vanilla. You can also buy vanilla syrup from Starbucks too. You're gonna get two shots of espresso, and then you wanna pour the milk to the top line. If you have a reusable cup, it works the same way. I'll put the measurements up because it's a venti instead of a grande. Ice, and then you're basically done. It's easy to learn, especially if you have your own espresso machine. Okay, so you guys really liked my little cookies and cream little combination. So we're gonna do cotton candy. Keep in mind, you do have to order the cake pop separate. I just put it on top because it looked cute. You're gonna order a vanilla bean frappuccino made with raspberry and two scoops of strawberry pieces. I personally just added the strawberry pieces for the color. But doesn't this look so good? Comment if you try it. Today we're making the peach cobbler frappuccino. Okay, so you're gonna order a vanilla bean frappuccino with a splash of peach and one pump of hazelnut. I also added a scoop of strawberries, mostly just for color, because sometimes stuff just looks better when it's pink. It was the vibe I was going for. But yeah, this is really easy to order. Comment or do let this if you try it. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite iced chais. It's really easy to get and tastes super good. You're gonna order a vanilla iced chai with salted cream cold foam. The combination is perfect. I did half the pumps for mine just because I don't like it super strong. But yeah, comment if you try this. Y'all have been asking for the Twix Frappuccino, so of course we're gonna make the Twix Frappuccino. Disclaimer, Twix that you saw on top of the Frappuccino in the beginning is obviously not from Starbucks. I just added that myself for a little razzle-dazzle. Anyways, you're gonna order a caramel Frappuccino with Java chips, hazelnut, extra caramel drizzle, and extra mocha drizzle. Obviously, add your own Twix if you want. Comment and let me know what you think. You guys really seem to like these little Starbucks combinations I be doing. So of course I have to do one for my chocolate lovers. Yes, I did get my fingerprint and smeared it all over the cake pop. Anyways, this is a mocha cookie crumble with a chocolate cake pop. Try this if you love chocolate. Okay, so today we're remaking the Snickers Frappuccino. You're gonna order a Java Chip Frappuccino, add toffee nut, extra mocha drizzle, and extra caramel drizzle. I did dark caramel because it's my favorite. I also brought my own Snickers to put on top for photo and video purposes, of course. This is to die for. You have to try it and comment if you do. It's time for another summer drink. You're gonna order a pineapple passion fruit lemonade, add peach juice, and strawberry inclusions. Listen, if you love the new pineapple drink, the peach just mellows it out perfectly. Comment if you try it. Okay, someone ordered this, and of course I have to tell you guys whenever I think it's interesting. We're gonna call this the peach dragon drink. You're gonna order a dragon drink with no fruit, add peach juice, and vanilla syrup. Oh yeah, no fruit. I can't remember if I said that or not. Comment if you try this. You have to try this drink from Starbucks. Today we're gonna be making the cotton candy refresher. You're gonna order a pink drink, no strawberries, raspberry syrup, white mocha, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Comment and let me know what you think. I know you know what this is. This is probably by far the most popular TikTok drink ever. Like so popular to the point where we're just like, oh, it's the TikTok one. And I'm sure other baristas can relate. If I can find the creator, I will definitely tag them. This is the infamous venti iced white mocha with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and extra caramel drizzle. It's good if you don't like the taste of coffee, a bit too sweet for me, but to each their own, you know? We're gonna make the summer refresher. I originally posted this two years ago, but we're just gonna redo it because I have a lot of new followers since then. This is a lemonade with one pump of raspberry, a splash of peach and strawberry puree on top. I gave mine a little swirl just to kind of mix everything up. It tastes so good. You have to try it and comment if you do. 
We're back with another drink from your favorite baristas. Not gonna lie, you guys really like when Sean's on the TikToks, so we're just gonna keep including them. This is a caramel ribbon crunch cream frappuccino. You're gonna add vanilla bean and brown sugar syrup. We forgot to film the brown sugar syrup part. Believe me though, it's in there. I'm, I'm just kidding, we forgot it entirely. Anyways, comment if you try this. Okay, so you want to go to Starbucks and you want a frozen drink that's fruity. Well, this one is top tier. This is a strawberry cream frappuccino. Listen, I always recommend getting it with extra puree. Extra puree for the win. Like, I barely put any milk in there. It's so good and there's no caffeine. Comment if you try it.